Did you take a look at Matt Wentz earlier, Laurie? Looks like he's in the tropics or something like that. I thought that I was going to ask you about that. I said I've seen the playroom, right? We've seen outside near the playhouse. This is a new one. Yeah. So uh, I like the palm trees, Matt. You're kind of teasing us like you're in Florida yeah. or something. Oh, did you move again? Uh, I'm. I did. Listen, oh, guys. My I, last minute decision here. <laughs> My internet is so spotty up on the terrace. We call it the terrace. It's literally falling apart. But uh, my internet was cutting out, and I can't risk it with these weather graphics. So we're back in front of the butterfly garden. I've got some ripe tomatoes here ready to pick for both of you as well. So Great. Uh, you know about that spotty internet. You know about that spotty internet. So. All right, so let's get into the forecast, shall we? It was hot today across Northeast Ohio. We reached the 90 degree mark across a couple spots, officially at Hopkins, 87 degrees. That's what we were calling for last night. Our average is 82 degrees and not we're anywhere close to the record, but it was still pretty muggy. And we continue with the hot temperatures, 91 still in Akron. Notice we're a little bit cooler, Lake Ashtabula and Geauga counties. That's because we've had more clouds up there. Everyone else is baking in sunshine and we're seeing some of those storms rolling off the lake as we were uh, talking about and Jason was highlighting during the five o'clock dew points. It's muggy outside, but it's not tropical by any means. But there is a frontal boundary heading on in and this has sparked a couple isolated showers and thunderstorms. This is really the first one that's going to impact areas inland. It is weakening as it moves in. There's not a lot of forcing with these, so these aren't going to be real strong storms. In fact, we're seeing just some showers moving into Geneva on the lake, heading up towards Ashtabula along Route 20, I-90. Pretty decent cell here continues to weaken, but we're going to see some heavier downpours. We're already seeing them in Menor, heading over towards the Painesville, Perry area. This is all heading inland around 40 miles per hour, so expect some downpours. We've lost the lightning with that as well, but some pretty decent clouds with this. And we're watching another, another storm back towards Detroit. We'll continue to keep an eye on these, but look at what it's along. It's a frontal boundary that stretches 950 miles. Look at the isolated storms from Pennsylvania all the way back into Iowa. This thing is falling apart but we still have that risk of some pop-up thunderstorms, not just tonight, but over the course of the day tomorrow. The bigger picture, though, shows a big area low pressure out in the plains. There's lots of rain with that. That is going to take its time heading through the Tennessee and Ohio Valley, and that's going to bring a soaker to those areas. Now, the exact track of that really is going to impact our weekend, as you'll see here in the forecast. These either are going to be a rainy weekend or a dry one if that misses us just down to the south. But tonight, it's going to be a quiet night outside of some of those isolated storms. Your National Design Mart Hour by our forecast, you can see some of those spotty storms. Just our lakeshore counties, everyone else, Akron, Elyria, down towards Mansfield, you'll be completely dry tonight. Thursday, that frontal boundary will sag a little bit further south. It'll also be a little bit weaker. So I do think we'll see lots of clouds across the area tomorrow. There's your chance of isolated afternoon storms a little bit further south. The I-7176 corridor, northern county, should be fine tomorrow afternoon. And outside of that, we'll start to dry things out on Friday as we bring in a drier air mass. I mentioned that weekend rain. There's your rain over the next three days. Look at the latest model run, bringing that low pressure right up through northeastern Ohio. That would bring some beneficial mm. rain to our area Saturday night and Sunday. Your Universal Windows Direct 7-day forecast. There's your isolated storm chance tomorrow. We will dry out Friday. Saturday night, we're going to throw in that chance of rain late in the day. And then Sunday, really kind of looking kind of rainy at this point, guys. But we could use it. We're in a two to three inch deficit across the majority of Northeast Ohio. So we could use it. Ru uh, Russ and uh, Laura, I think River wants to say something. What is it, buddy? Hi. He says, ah, uh, hi. <laughs> there you go. Ah, all yeah. right. Very, very cute. All right.